Hello there, my name is and welcome to a brand new video, and actually my very first tutorial video where I'll be showing you how to set up your PS Move in order to play House of the Dead Remake on PC if, if you were using a light gun of sorts. If you got a PS Move laying around and can't buy anything like the Sinden light gun or gun for IR. First, I'll go through the things you need. Number one, you'll need a PS Move, a PSI, and a Bluetooth adapter if your PC doesn't allow for Bluetooth connections by default. Now, on the software side of things, you'll need PS Move service via the IBRY driver on Steam. This is a DLC for the IBRY app, and you should be able to find it there. PS Move um, Free Pie Bridge has to be downloaded as side on the PS Move service GitHub page. And finally, you will need Free Pie, and you may download it from the Free Pie GitHub page. Now, uh, what you will want to do to pair this PS Move controller, which is the first thing we got to do, is that first we're going to launch uh, the IVRY driver for SteamVR, and we're going to launch configure PS Move service. It'll tell you to connect. You connect to it, and it'll say, and then you go to the controller settings. The host serial info thing. This is the the Bluetooth um, adapter that I have. It will show up if you have Bluetooth adapt uh, enabled. Otherwise, it won't show up. It says no connected usable controllers. Well, in this case, we're gonna look for a cable that's uh, compatible with the uh, PS Move. In my case, I'm gonna get this one over here, which is an adapter for the PS3. Hold on. And I have the PS3 right here. Plug it in. And it should show up, just like that. Now that it sh showed up, then we press pair controller. Keep in mind, you need to remember this controller ID will need to pair it with the Play Pi thing. Now we press pair controller, and we need to press the PS Move PS button. Um, because the LED will start blinking, and we do this several times until it works. Keep in mind, this may take a while, but for me it took a couple of seconds. Uh, actually, the first time I tried it took about two hours, I'm not even kidding. Um, but you can see now it, it is paired, and uh, now that it is paired, um, we kind of want to do is we do controller calibration. First we calibrate the magnetometer, right here. The magnetometer is a thing where you have, we have to move the controller, you have to rotate it a lot. Um, so you can get a sense of the surroundings it is on. We can unplug this, there's no issue, actually. And we flip it and flip it and flip it and flip it, just like that. So it's 100% done. And it's done. Now we press OK. And we need to put it in a stable surface. In this case, we're gonna I'm gonna put it here over here. Then uh, we select, you can see it moves accordingly. And we press select while aiming forward. And it'll send it. Now that we have this done, we press return to main menu. Then we go to calibrate gyroscope. We have to put it again on a stable surface.
and let it settle. This may take a long time. Uh, just a couple of seconds. Not much. And we got the sample complete. Let's press OK to continue. And we have the calibration done. See, I'm moving it, and it's moving accordingly. Even flipping it works. It's, it's quite impressive. Then we hold the select button to recenter it, just like that. Now that we have this done, we should go to return to main menu, and we're gonna do tracker settings. Um, after we're in the tracker, now what we're gonna do is calibrate the controller, tracking colors, and uh, here you can see me. You can see the camera. This is what the camera is seeing, and the, you can see the bulbs now on. You can actually set up however you want. The point is that everything in the background has to be dark, and the only thing that can be seen is going to be the bulb. Uh, save, and we're going to apply. Let me go to main menu. Now that we have this done, what we're going to do is go to where we installed PS Move Free Pi and uh, execute the file, the .exe. Yes, move free pi rich.exe. Then um, it's asking me which type of device do you want to track. I press number two, which is for controllers. How many devices uh, do I want to track? I want to track this one. What is the ID? Now, you remember we saw the ID before and uh, the ID for this one is one, so I'm just gonna put one here. Would I like to use a custom bulb color? No thanks. But you can do you can change whatever color you want. Then we we'll put minus one in here. And then there we have it. It's acquired. Now let's start the game. Because uh, it's it's a pretty good way to play actually, and I've been actually meaning to uh, buy the rifle attachment, but I haven't found it anywhere. But before we uh, start the game, there's a little thing we gotta do. After this. Uh, we need to find where um, the PS where the free pie uh, is installed. In my case is installed over here, free pie, and uh, I'm gonna execute it. This is what allows us um, for the computer to see the mouse as the push move as a mouse input. This is my look a little confusing, but it's quite easy. Let me explain. So first, we're gonna uh, select file. We're gonna go to open. Then we go to program files or whatever we have installed for uh, PS Move Free Pi, and we're gonna execute uh, Free Pi example mouse script dot pi. Now that we've chosen it, we're gonna go to script and we're gonna go to run script and there you have it and now we can go to the game yeah it takes a little while you can see it's now moving according to the ps move though what we want is for the ps move 
to um, follow the forward radical. For some reason, um, the house of that remake doesn't like me recording the, the screen, so um, we have it just here. Okay, start it. And um, just so you know, um, when this works as a mouse, the trigger is going to be the left click, and uh, the right click is going to be the middle button, which works for reloading. Starting you can take. I'm going to use the mouse for this one. Hold on. Starting again. I do recommend you to try and play in the biggest screen you have, uh, because since this is not perfect, um, whenever you go to a to a corner, you have to kind of uh, put it back in place so it stays in the middle. But hey, honestly, it's 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 a lot better than um, having nothing to try and simulate a light gun and makes a really really good job in my opinion um to make it feel like i'm in an arcade by the way one thing you should notice about this is that you have to tweak things like the sensitivity and um, the crosshair speed while you play on um, here in game so then it just applies for your playstyle if if you don't like it moving slowly, then you can change it up, and you can make the game adapt so it's actually very, very uh, comfortable for you to play. My case. Oh, sorry for the fame rate. I have no idea. <laughs> but um, that's because I'm I'm I'm, ha I'm using the the editing software and I'm playing the game at the same time. The computer's under a lot of pressure. <laughs> But uh, as you can see, it works. It's it's pretty funky. It's pretty sensible, but it does work. <laughs> so uh, sensitivity, then you can change that if you like. You can go to options. You can go to sensitivity, and you can put it down to let's say six. That'll be fine. That's still too much. <laughs> Change it to um, let's say let's try a crosshair speed then. Let's put it to five. This is for in the gameplay section. Then continue. Oh that's all I'm playing. Let's see I'm actually And there you have it. You can now play the House of Dead remake with a PS Move controller. I hope you like this video, and uh, please leave a like and maybe subscribe if you like. I, I don't really care. Um, but yeah, there you have it. You can use your PS Move. You get some zombies in here. Have fun. And I'm dead. <laughs> See you next time. Take care.